Tara, thanks for joining us. First of all, the good news is you're in the squad. It's just been named. Uh, how are you feeling ahead of Sunday's big grand final against Leeds? Yeah, really good. Um, we're all really, really excited to go out there on the big stage and um, obviously our first grand final is Saints. So, yeah, it's really, really exciting time. So just looking forward to it. You've got the Challenge Cup. You've got the League Leader Shield. We had Naomi Williams on your teammate at the start of the season. She said you were going to win all three trophies, so no pressure going in to Sunday's game. Do you see yourself as the favourites against the, the defending champions? Yeah, I think um, because of, of what we've already achieved this year, I think there's a little bit of an expectation for us to go out and perform. Um, obviously, like I say, we've got to go out there and we've got to perform on the day. So um, it, it's down to us, really. We, like I say, nothing's done yet. We've still got a job to go out there and do. Um, yeah, with like Naomi at the start of the year saying we're going to go out there and win all three trophies. People were approached um, individually to give like team goals, and uh, every single player said we wanted to win trophies this year. So um, we've managed to do that now, and we're, and we're one step closer to doing the treble. So hopefully, we'll do that. Winning that Challenge Cup semi final against Leeds and then the final against York, it must have given you as a group great belief because obviously you had the talent there, but then you had the ability to actually win those big games. Yeah, like obviously the individual talent across our squad is absolutely unbelievable and the same across the, the league as well, so across the all team, all of the teams. The talent is is so high um, across the sport um, and obviously we've been able to, to build that together as a squad um, and yeah, we've been fortunate, fortunate enough uh, to be in a position to put that together and, and get the rewards that, that we've been achieving, um, sorry, aspiring towards all year. It's going to be the biggest crowd there's ever been for a women's grand final on Sunday, obviously live on TV again. I guess I guess you're used to being on TV now, but what's it going to be like coming out there in front of the, the, the crowd on, on Sunday afternoon? Yeah, it's going to be different, isn't it? It's going to be special. Like There's loads of talk around it. I know there's loads of people going to the game. Um, obviously, we won't know till the day, but I, I can imagine there's going to be a very big crowd. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a very different and special atmosphere. So, for me, it's just important to take it all in and and live in the moment almost. Um, obviously, the coverage we're getting on Sky and our league and Twitch, it's great. And, um, yeah, it, it's good for the promotion of the sport as well, but it's also enabling us to become a little bit more used to that. So, it's not necessarily um, a, a scary thing we're entering. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, it, it can be a little bit daunting still, but hopefully across the board we're becoming a little bit more used to it now. Uh, your teammate Jodie Cunningham named Woman of Steel this week. Uh, Emily Rudge on the shortlist as well. As you say, you've got a very talented squad there at St Helens. Tell us a bit more about Jodie. What, what, what made her the Woman of Steel this year? Yeah, I mean, Jodie, she's incredible on and off the field. She's incredible. The talent she possesses um, is unbelievable. She brings so much to our squad. If you were to take her out of that, we'd definitely see an impact, as you would with Emily. Um, they've both got incredible talent and they were both well-deserved to be nominated for that award. Um, Jodie, the work she does away from the field as well with the Rugby League World Cup, um, but not just that within a job like outside of that as well so within her own time she lives in Rees Rugby League and um, obviously the talent she possesses on the field but also the work she does off the field is um, just phenomenal and yeah I don't think it could have gone to anybody different really. Obviously as opposed to the men's Super League where they're full-time professionals you all have real lives out there as well as fitting in your rugby how do you work with that balance and and I guess it, it, it must be a, a great feeling to know that you can have a, a level of talent as well as having to deal with everything in the real world as well? Yeah, it can be tough. Like, I mean, right now, obviously, I'm doing this interview, um, but I'm at work. Uh, so I'm lucky enough. I work for the Saints Community Development Foundation. Um, I'm currently in a school on my dinner, uh, jumped in the office to do this interview. So it's just getting that balance and, and fitting things in. Um, but yeah, it, it can be tough. It can take it toll, obviously, working full time and then going out there and, and performing as well. But yeah, it's nice to um, to be able to do that. Could be a great weekend. Obviously, Saints men have won the Challenge Cup there in the men's grand final. You've got the chance of winning all three trophies. What's it like being part, part of the St Helens Club? Yeah, it's special. So this weekend for our club, it, it's massive. It's such a massive weekend and hopefully um, the men can go out there on Saturday and do the job and then we can go out there on Sunday and do the job as well um, and create some more history for our club. Um, but it, it's really good. Like the club um, are really supportive of us. 
um, we are becoming more and more included. Um, and for for example, we've had captains run last night, and Christian Wolf came and presented presented us with our grand final shirts and gave us a little speech beforehand. Um, it's just really nice to have that recognition and that support from from the rest of the club as well, um, including obviously the first team's um, head coach <clears throat> in Christian. It's really nice to have that support and um, behind us as well and know that they're rooting for us just as much as we are them. And it does seem from the outside that yourself and Leeds, the two teams in the final, do have a lot of support from the club. And, and, and that obviously is, is important for developing the women's game as a whole. Yeah, massively. Um, obviously, if you're getting support from your club um, within like SNC, physio, things like that, it, it can only improve performance and enhance you as an athlete and as a team. Um, so I do think that support is is massive and, and we appreciate that um, going forward and enabling us to, to boost our support even further. You're a qualified referee. How difficult is it when you're on the pitch playing not to try and question the match officials' decisions? Yeah, it can get a little bit difficult. Obviously, you've got your emotions in there, your your um, desire, your um, you you wanting to go out there and get the best for your team, aren't you? Uh, so it can be difficult. Um, I try and just manage that the best I can. Um, sometimes you got to question in the right areas, in the right way, at the right times. Um, push a look a little bit, maybe, but yeah, I just try and manage that uh, on the field the best I can. So. Do you ever get uh, frustrated with some of your teammates when you obviously know that they're in the wrong, but the referee's in the right and they're uh, not too happy with the decision? Yeah, I mean, what happens on the field, it happens, doesn't it? You've got to move on. Uh, we're, we've had plenty of discussions throughout the season. The girls will always be like, TJ, what's this? TJ, what's that? TJ, is that right? And um, But when it's happened, you've got to move on, haven't you? Um, I mean, there's some things that you can't control. And you can only focus on what you can control. So whatever is in our hands is, is uh, what we need to focus on. You'll be controlling your own performances then on Sunday. Who are the danger people on the lead side who uh, we should be looking out for? Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, the talent across the Women's Super League is massive. There's plenty of names out there across all of the teams to look out for. Um, obviously, within Leeds, you've got the likes of Courtney Hill, um, who come up with something special. Uh, you've got Fran Goldthorpe that's obviously a, a really big threat there um, in the international programme as well. So um, I've played alongside Fran as well and she, she's a really, really good player. Um, so yeah, you've got you've got a couple of players there to look out for. Finally, I don't want to take up too much more of your, your time this lunchtime. It's very important to you. Um, how big a year has it been in 2021? And, and going into 2022 with a World Cup, how big could next season be for St Helens and Women's Rugby League in general? Oh, massive. Um, for, for us as a club, obviously, we're coming towards the end of this season now, but for us, it's just been paramount in, on the back of 2020. Obviously, the season didn't happen for obvious reasons. Um, it was really disappointing for everybody. But to be able to get back out there and do our thing and, and get the successes we've personally had as a club, um, it's been absolutely amazing. And obviously, if we do the job on, Saturday, on Sunday, we, we couldn't really ask for much more um, in terms of this year. But going forward into 2022 and the World Cup, um, the coverage we've had on Sky, on the social media platforms, the, the game's just growing. There's more and more girls getting involved in the sport and hopefully the next 12 months will just continue to grow and we'll make it even bigger leading up to that World Cup and, and people can watch us do our thing out there. Finally, you mentioned trying to take in, in what what happening around you in these games, I guess. You'll be hoping for another double celebration on an open top bus sometime soon. Yeah, hopefully. I'm not sure the open top bus will happen again. Um, but yeah, hopefully there'll be some kind of celebration on the back of it. Um, I know there definitely will be um, Sunday if we go out there and perform. Um, I know there definitely will be, but yeah, hopefully going forward there'll be some kind of celebration. 